All right, this is a tough one. The challenge is to build a software controlled boost converter using only one part. The part I'm using is a uh, 100 microhenry inductor. In this case, it's a toroid core, but it's not critical. You could use almost any inductor within a couple order of magnitudes of that. The software is running on an at tiny 85, but this is also not critical. It could just as easily be an AT Mega 168 like in an Arduino. And for a power source, we're going to be using a dead battery. And let's just check that battery to see how dead it is. And that battery. Wow, that is really dead. That battery is at around 1.7 volts, so that is a stone dead battery. We're going to put the battery in, and our goal is to light this 3.7 volt Norwegian blue LED. Um, with this dead battery, it should be impossible to get enough volts directly out of the battery to light the LED. So if we connect it directly up, hopefully it will not light. So nothing, nothing at all when we connect it directly up. But if we connect it up as a boost converter, we should be able to boost that 1.7 volts up to the 3.7 volts that we need to light the LED. Now again, I just want to make it clear that these are all stock parts and there's no tricks, nothing hiding underneath the breadboard. If you took these same parts, programmed up the chip, and connected them the same way, you would get the same results. So now I'm going to connect them, but you don't get to see how I connect them, because then there would be no challenge. But it's all simple. All right, let's see. When I make this last connection, the LED lights up. And it's running a simple little program that just blinks it and does a nice iPod style breathe courtesy of Adafruit. Uh, if you think that this challenge is easy, you should try and build it, but I can't wait to see what people come up with. Oh, free t-shirt to the winner.